and I'm joined now by Chris Hudson. He is the president of DMG Events, ultimately Edipec 2017, Edipec every year. So Chris, a great four days. Bring us up to date because I know you have the numbers. You have a few. We have quite a few numbers, Etna. So this year we've surpassed 100,000 attendees, which is a good 7 or 8% year on year increase, which in these times is, is really, really powerful. Literally hundreds of millions of dollars of business done here over the four days. The city's full, it really is a global energy hub where people come to do business, so it's super exciting. We really expanded the content this year, so we had over 100 global CEOs speaking, 180 sessions in total, 120 technical sessions, so Adipec is really dealing with all the various levels of the oil and gas and energy market, from engineers to CEOs, and a really strong push on bilateral trade this year. So we have the Mexicans exhibiting, and speaking for us, we have the Malaysians in with Petronas. So the real sort of meeting point for a whole energy industry this last four days here at Adipec. Well, it is, and I know you'll be very happy to hear that we've talked to an awful lot of people here, and you know you'll you'll be hearing some very good reports back. Good. There's been tremendous people around the place. I mean, it has. We've seen lots of crowds, lots of people here. But again, you talk about this energy mix, and you really talk about the diversification of energy. But also what I'm seeing, too, is the shift towards the digital future. Do you feel that we've really made a bit of a shift in the focus this year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the whole sort of digital landscape is really to the fore here, mainly in our conference content, big conversations taking place, and big investment. The whole sort of digital movement is really the big conversation here this week at Adipec. Also, we had lots of technical sessions. They were all doing very well. Again, the very the heart and soul, so to speak. I mean, without the technical sessions, we, we wouldn't be here. That's what a lot of the key people come. But again, a lot of those sessions through cybersecurity, you had a few conferences running in parallel, and they were all really busy, people fascinated and interested in all. Just give me a quick uh, review. Well, we had 128 technical sessions, and that's everything from reservoir technology, subsurface management, and that really, as you quite rightly say, is the bedrock of Adipec. It drives around 10,000 engineers over the four days. So how to do it cheaper, cleaner, and faster. Our strategic content really looks, as you said, digitalization, what the future looks like, forging ties, new synergies, new partnerships, and that was immensely successful. A three-day security conference, a dedicated marine and offshore conference, special event for youth, driving youth into the oil and gas industry, which is really important, and our one-day diversification program, again, really highlighting opportunities for women, of course, but the broader diversification in the workplace conversation, which is enormously important for the, for the whole world, really. So, so a lot of content going on, a lot of very happy delegates, business has been done, engineers have learned a bit more, and that's really the holistic side uh, of Adipec. Of course, we've had 2,200 exhibitors, 27 country pavilions, and just to recap, over 100,000 attendees over the four days. So I think, you know, Adipec really is this global energy hub, this global meeting point, and I think Abu Dhabi and Adnoc are really my, very much part of that global energy conversation now. So we're really grateful to our key supporters. Indeed, you'll be just closing the doors on this this evening um, as we're here on the final day of Adipec 2017 and getting ready for next year. Um, I know the program is in the works, but uh, what are we looking forward to? The same, or not the same, more, bigger, better, and again, you're probably looking at all sorts of different uh, content right now. Yeah, so we, we start that process of validating content, working with our key CEOs at the strategic level about the conversation, the future conversation, so you're quite right that's all in the programming phase. The demand for exhibition space has really surpassed all our expectations um, and we're working with the venue to build more structures uh, for 2018. Our new expanded petroleum club, we saw 3,000 C-suite executives taking part in that experience. That will be built out even more. So, you know, we, we don't want to overcook at EPEC, if you see what I mean. We want to keep developing with our partners and very much in, in relevance to what the industry is doing. So we're very much looking forward to 2018 and uh, we've had a great week here in Abu Dhabi. So of course you and your team, as I say, putting a lot of work and effort into that. Um, I would imagine they're, they're all, they've had a tiring week, they've had a busy week, a very productive week, but um, maybe a word to, for the team in terms of putting this together and indeed all of your partners that you worked with. Well, we're, we're very lucky and fortunate to have a fantastic team uh, that actually delivers Adipec. 
and, and we will pay great, great thanks and respect to them. I think what's really important is our sponsors that get behind the show, help us create content, um, provide some strategic direction for us. So, you know, Adipec is all organized by DMG events. It's actually created by the industry and that's what makes it so successful. Thank <laughs> you.